Hello, what's going on guys? I'm gonna show you quickly how to get NDI set up with your open broadcast software in case you don't wanna use a video capture card or you just wanna use like a three PC streaming setup like I do. Now, to do OBS and NDI, you're gonna need two things. You're gonna need the runtime and the NDI version of OBS. So in the description box down below, I'm gonna have this web page, this OBS forms page, and it's gonna take you to the GitHub. So we're gonna go there and you're gonna see here, it's gonna give you OBS NDI version 4.7.0. Now this might change, but it really doesn't matter what version they're going to. This is probably not gonna change for a while, so you can still keep using this. You wanna download and install the NDI 4.0 runtime, and then you wanna come all the way down here and grab the OBS NDI version. Okay, so a download is a download, and you know how these work. The order you wanna do this in is NDI 4.0 runtime, and then you wanna install the OBS. Now, when you install the OBS, it's going to point to the directory that where you currently have your OBS put to, and it's gonna ask if you wanna overwrite. You want to say yes to this. It's not gonna remove anything, it's just going to put the plugin in place and it's gonna give it the NDI title, it's not gonna be like this weird plugin source name thing. Just say yes, let it overwrite your current OBS version, nothing is gonna go away, you'll be fine. And once then, you wanna restart your computer. You have to restart your computer. It even says here, you must reboot your computer for the new update to take effect. Once you've done that, then you should see something that looks like this. As you can see here, once you've restarted, it says NDI source. Now you wanna come up to tools and you wanna to go to NDI output settings. They'll bring up this little window and you wanna say main output, preview output, just click okay. And then when you do that, you will be able to actually see your other computer. Now you wanna do this on both machines, of course. You have to do it on both machines. So let's go okay. And there we go. As you can see, it says your source name. This will be the PC that you wanna hook up to. Bandwidth allocation, and you wanna sync it on your network. Hardware acceleration, all these other things. These are all more advanced settings that you'll learn over time. But this will get you up and running. So once you click OK, you'll be able to see the OBS of the other computer, and thus the game and everything, but without that computer actually broadcasting out. So guys, there you have it. That's how you set up NDI for OBS. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see all of you on the next tutorial. Bye.